In today's video, we're going to review how to navigate through Ultra Course View in Blackboard. Once you pull up an Ultra Course or organization, this is what you will see, minus these modules, depending on how far you are in the development process. So we're going to go over the top menu items, which are consistent across all your courses and organizations, and the details and actions today, as well as how to create content. So first, with details and actions, in this column, you'll be able to access your roster of everyone who's included in your organization or class, create and manage groups, turn on or off progress tracking, add a banner image to your course or organization, decide if participants can access the organization or not, allow for a Blackboard Collaborate session to be joined, manage your attendance, create announcements, and use institutional tools as well as manage your question banks. In this top menu column, you're able to access course content, your course calendar and sort by schedule or due dates, all discussions included in your course or organization, your gradebook, which is also sortable by your students, messages, and get course analytics. Back to our content page, if you're wishing to add content to your organization or course, all you'll need to do is click this plus button and then click create. This will populate a bunch of options for you to select in a right menu column, such as organization content items, assessments, and participation engagement. For our organization content items, we're going to look at these three right now. Learning modules are accordion files that allow for content to be placed within them. I'll show you those now. For example, let me move this one back up here. There we go. You'll have your start here. This is a learning module that I created. If you click on it, you'll have a drop down menu which shows different documents that can be clicked on and have content within them. If you click again, it'll close the accordion file. I like to think of these like filing cabinets because you can have a learning module contain a folder and document, and a folder can contain a document, but a document can't contain a learning module. If we go down here further, you'll see that we have discussion boards included here, as well as knowledge tests and assignments. Further down, I know I have a folder in one of these. Here we go. You'll see what a folder looks like when you click on a folder. It'll populate another accordion file dropdown, and you'll be able to access the content within that as well. This provides a more streamlined uh, content organization system for you and students to make learning a little bit more accessible and ease the navigation process. Instructors are also able to view the participation view through this item in the top right corner. And that is the general base navigation for how to navigate through your ultra course view.